you guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to share with you my little summer collection that I am bringing out on Monday. Thought it would be nice to just sit down and explain the different designs and fabrics. So this collection is a little bit larger than my last collection. Um, I have a few more garments available this time and I've also tried to be a little bit more inclusive of other sizes. Um, so I have a few items that go up to a size 14. I always want to be inclusive of every size but it is quite tricky at the moment because it's just me. Okay so I'm going to show you the first dress and this is the only dress that I designed the fabric for. I had such a specific idea in my head of what I wanted for this dress and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. But the fabric I couldn't find anywhere that I wanted so I used a printing service which wasn't the cheapest but sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet. So this dress has a super oversized ruffle collar at the top which I just love and it goes all the way around the back into this sort of longer section at the back and then the dress itself is maxi length and it goes all the way down into a thick hem. The sleeves have this puff at the top and then they go into a slightly more fitted sleeve and then they finish off with this really cute little ruffle. And there's no zips or fastening in this one, it's just tied up at the front with two ties and it's got this sort of like two open sections here which show off a bit of skin. Here's a little close up of the fabric and it's also got these little pin tucks all down the front which just give it a bit more volume. So yeah, that is the Florence dress and if you're wondering for height how long it is, I am five foot seven and a half basically, um, five foot eight. It's just about full length on me. And this I designed to be size eight or anywhere below that to size 14. So if you are a size 14, then you should be able to fit into this dress. My mum is a size 14, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, but I've been using her as my fit model for size 14 garments. Um, so she fits into this nicely and can move her arms around and everything. So yeah, this is a size eight to 14, if you are wondering. I forgot to mention the fabric for the Florence dress. So the outer fabric is poly cotton and then I lined the whole thing with a really beautiful cotton lawn so it's really really soft on the inside. So next up this is the Greta dress and this one is I'd say like maxi midi length. Um, so pretty long midi dress. I wanted to have two tiers of gathered skirt in this dress and then the top is sort of gathered along the top at the front and at the back and it just ties at the top with little ties so you can do little bows on your shoulders um, and then to get into it you just unzip down the side so so happy with how this one turned out this fabric I've had for a long time so this one's made in a nice vintage cotton I just love the print I think it's a really really sweet dress. This dress is super easy to style up or down so it can be suitable for just casual wear and just every day in the summer or it can even be worn in the winter with like long sleeve jumpers underneath. Um, so yeah, I love this sort of style of dress. I think it's so easy to wear, looks great on everyone. Um, and yeah, this one is in a size eight only though. And then I made one exactly the same but in a different fabric. This one is in the green check fabric, like a really pretty light green fabric. The check print isn't really coming up on the camera but if you want to see more pictures of these then they're all over on my website which I will link down below. So yeah, this is the Greta in the green dress and this one is also in a size 8. If you're a bit of a larger size 8 this one would also work for you. And then something that I wear a lot of in summer is cohorts or sets of items so that is normally like a top and a skirt or top and shorts um, and I really wanted to make some really cute top and short sets for this collection. So the first one is in this gingham fabric. So this is the folly blouse and it has puff sleeves again but it's also got um, a little gathered section in the middle and then it goes out into this sort of peplum sleeve. This one is in poly cotton so it means it won't crease 
as badly it will mean it's a little bit hotter than cotton um, but I just loved the way this seersucker just really held a shape and the neckline has a little ruffle going all around it and it ties at the back with a little tie in the same fabric and then the front and back are gathered like so just to create a really sweet little doll-like look to the blouse so yeah I love this this will look great with jeans or anything really it just makes any casual outfit look quite fun it also has matching shorts to go with it but before I show you the shorts I wanted to show you the other version of the top this is the billy blouse and this is exactly the same construction except this one just doesn't have the long sleeves um, so it's got the same tie at the back and the little gathered back I just think that's so so sweet so those two blouses fit size 8 to 14 they're just one size these are the little roux shorts and then they have a little ruffle trim around the hem at the bottom so they look super sweet and they're a really flattering length they're not too short and they're not weirdly long and they're also super high-waisted which is something that I love I just love high-waisted shorts and trousers so I thought I'd make these super high-waisted so there are four different sizes in these shorts ranging from size 8 to 14. I'm really sorry for the size 16s out there, but one day I will have size 16s. <laughs> I then also have the folly blouse in this really sweet um, little ditzy blue floral. I ran out of fabric to make shorts in these, which I was really annoyed at. But obviously fabric shops aren't open at the moment, and I didn't purchase this one online, so I couldn't get any more of this. But I have a few tops in this fabric. So this one's exactly the same. It's got the ruffle trim, oversized sleeves. I just love this fabric so much. I'm considering keeping one for myself. Again, it looks so great with blue denim. Anything ditzy and floral, I am just obsessed with. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this style too. And then again, I have this fabric in the billy blouse. Um, so this is just the sleeveless style again in the ditzy floral. And this is also a poly cotton fabric, so it means it won't get all creased. Um, so they're pretty good for travelling with if you want something to shove in your suitcase that won't be super creased by the time you get there um, or even to wear when you're travelling um, these would be really good Next up I have two mini dresses these are exactly the same design but I have them in a light blue check and then a dark blue check So this is the Margot dress and she has a little ruffled bust at the top which is actually like super flattering and it kind of like gives you a push up somehow. I don't know how I've managed to do that. <laughs> so yeah, it's really flattering at the chest and then it's just got these straps that go down quite low at the back but not so low that you can't wear a bra with it. And then the back is also longer than the front in the skirt section because something I hate about mini skirts is how short they are these days. Um, from shops, especially like Topshop, they do such mini, mini skirts. Um, so if you bend over in this, you're kind of safe. <laughs> so these are both cotton and then they have a little bit of spandex in them, which means they stretch a little bit. They kind of give like vintage tennis dress vibes. The next style is the Piper dress. I am obsessed with the fabric for this dress. It goes into a pretty long midi length and it has panels down the front and the back um, and ones at the side that are kind of cut on the bias to give that really nice flow to it. You could style this out with like a long white sleeve top underneath and some white trainers or wear it on its own um, with some sandals that would look really pretty. So yeah this is the Piper dress. I think it's really really beautiful. Such a nice fabric that I think would suit everyone to be honest. And this one does only come in a size 8 unfortunately. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. And then finally we have the Winnie set. Now this is actually the first one I made for this collection. And it's quite hard to show on the hanger, but the top is just sort of a t-shirt style. This fabric, again, I am obsessed with. It's in this really beautiful like jacquard cotton. Um, and it's got like a really nice sheen to it. So it's a really special um, piece, I think. The bow at the back can be detached. Um, just using poppers so it literally just poppers off and then you have the back of the shirt just normal this also makes it easier for when you want to wash the top because I wouldn't suggest washing the bow 
um, just simply because I feel like it could be, I mean you could wash it but I'd be very careful about washing something like this. And then the shorts I just put on this hanger with some scrap fabric to protect the shorts. And they're the same cut as the Rue shorts but these don't have the ruffle around the trim. Um, they're just really nice straight cut, simple, vintage style, high waisted shorts but I am selling the shorts with the top because I think it would be really frustrating if you wanted the set and someone bought the shorts or someone bought the top. Um, so yeah, they are going as a set um, in a size eight. The top is definitely suited for someone with a flat chest um, or someone with smaller ribs than me. I just have quite huge ribs. I'd say if you are a 32 or under, then that top will be fine on you. Unless you have like 32 double D then that top won't work for you. If you guys have any questions about the sizing of these garments then please comment below and I will do my best to get back to you before the launch on Monday. Obviously I'll list all the sizes when they go up on the website so it's nice and clear for you guys. So yeah there we go that is my little summer collection. I really hope you guys like the look of it. I'll leave the link to my website down below and also the link to my design Instagram because I've already been uploading some images on there of these garments. So yeah, the launch is on Monday the 15th at 7pm, so if you're interested in any of these garments then that is the time they will all be going live. And also if you like the look of my last collection and didn't get your hands on something that you wanted, there are two dresses available on my website right now from my previous collection if you wanted to have a look at that. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!